Hi, I'm Bob Hot Rod Warrior with Cluffy, and I want to explain uh, features and benefits of our geo manifold. Look at this beauty here. We've got quite a um, great product in this geo manifold. I want to explain first why you would want a geo manifold. Traditionally, when a loop field, geo loop field, like a ground source loop field or a pond source uh, loop field is put in, a manifold is put out in a yard somewhere, and the tubes are heat fused together, and then that manifold is buried, and nobody ever knows where that is. If you have a problem with that loop field, you're out of luck because it's not an easy thing to find and dig up. So the Cluffy approach is to put a manifold in a location where you can have access to it. And that's going to do a number of things for you. It's going to allow you to tweak it if ever you have to. It's going to allow you to troubleshoot it if you have an underperforming system. It could be an indication that you've got an airlock in one of the zones. So by having access to a manifold somewhere, be it inside the house or in a vault outside the building, now you've got the access to do that. It also takes that um, expensive and sometimes finicky heat fusion equipment out of the equation because that's expensive. It has to be recertified every year to make sure. It's very installer sensitive. If the installer has a bad day and he doesn't warm that up sufficiently, he won't get a good um, fusion on that. And now if that's buried in the ground and it leaks a couple weeks later or something like that, you're out of luck. So this is really the best approach. And so what we want to show you is this manifold here. It's a polymer manifold. It's available from two to eight ports. You can run about three GPM per port out, so eight ports, you can run 24 GPM. That's probably gonna be enough to do about an eight ton system for you. That's about the limit of this system here. But let me show you how this is built inside because it's got some really unique features the way that um, we construct this. Polymer, and it's got um, these spaces around it here, and so it's hollow on the outside wall. And what that's gonna do for you, number one, it makes it stronger because we've got all these webs that gives it some strength to the plastic when we extrude that. But it also, when this thing has chilled water going through it, it doesn't sweat and condense and drip on the outside like a uh, manifold where the, the cold water was touching the outside wall. So it gives us strength and it also gives us um, some insulation value. And here's an actual segment of it. These go together in sections with a gasket in between them and that's how we build them for uh, whatever tell you tell us you need, whether it's a um, you know, six port, four port, we just assemble these with a gasket between them and then there's stainless steel um, rods that go through that we put together and torque them together. So that's how the system's built. And then we offer a, a wide range of fittings um, to go on the ports, depending on what you want to do with it, isolation valves and uh, different things. And I'm going to go through those one by one here in a second. But let me show you a couple other features that comes on every manifold. It's going to be mounted just like you see it here on these heavy duty um, stainless steel brackets. So if it does get put um, outside in the ground or something like that, nothing's going to rust or corrode. Um, it has all these um, vents on it, supply and return air vent. So if you have a little bit of air in the loop, field that you didn't get out when you purged the first time. These vents are going to grab that and take care of that for you and vent it out. We've got uh, temperature gauges on both the supply and return, so now you know what your delta T is so you can see how the whole loop field is performing. If you know your supply going out and your return temperature coming back, now you can see what the system is, um, what kind of energy it's transferring for you. So that's some of the features on the manifold. You can um, mount this on the wall. We give you the brackets with the egg shed holes already in it, so you just put some uh, fasteners on your wall, latch it on there. Sometimes you're going to want to mount this out in the yard somewhere, maybe in a yard box. There's companies that make concrete vaults that you can mount these in, or plastic vaults. I actually put one of these in my own home, and I used a, um, a lawn sprinkler box as my vault on the edge of the pond. It's a loop field that goes into the pond. Now, if you're going to do that, and this thing is laying down, now your vents need to be turned up. So if you know that's the installation, let us know when we assemble this at the factory. We'll put the vents in the right orientation. So when you get it out there, take it out of the box, put it into the vault, hook up your tube, and away you go. It can be done in the field. We prefer to do it in the factory if we could to make sure you've got that um, lined up and torqued properly. So. That's some of the installation options. Now let me show you the different fittings that go on the ports. We'll start out with the most basic fitting right here and I'm gonna assemble that so I can show you how easily that goes together. Now that's just a one inch male thread by Union Nut Connection. So all you have to do with this, take it out of the box, there's a flat gasket that goes in that. Let's see if I can see over the top and put one of these together while you're watching here. Because what happens with this here is once you get this started and you tighten this up, I did it. You tighten that until it bottoms out. Once that nut bottoms up against the end of it and you're out of thread, it's tightened and it's not going to leak. And what's nice about the fact that we made that, we engineered that so it bottoms out and tightens at the same time, is you're not going to be tend, tend to put a big wrench on that and you know crank on those uh, threads and uh, distort the threads or anything. So as it bottoms out, it, tights, it tightens up on there and now you've got a leak-proof seal. So there's our first um, fitting that we offer, a basic fitting. Uh, the next step would be 
that same fitting, but now we put our GeoGrip fitting on it. And the GeoGrip is a compression fitting. Again, it takes the heat fusion away from the manifold connection also. And you just slip that inside there and you tighten it up. The same thing's going to happen on this GeoGrip fitting is when you put the tube in there, push it in until you feel it bottom out in the fitting, and then you tighten this nut here. As soon as that nut bottoms out, that gripper ring is, I don't know if you can see on here, we've had this tube in the other way, that's going to grip right into the wall of that tubing and you won't pull that out. We've put um, a pull test on this to see the um, strength of that, and trust me, that's going to be in there um, forever. So tube all the way in, tighten until locks out. So there's your second fitting. Your second option is the, the fitting with the GeoGrip uh, connection already on it. We do offer that in different sizes. Typically, a uh, loop field is going to be 3 quarter, 1 inch, so we have that GeoGrip fitting available in both those sizes. The next step up would be this um, um, isolation valve, basically just a brass ball valve, a nice quality brass ball valve with the GeoGrip fitting already assembled into it. We seal all this and test all this at the factory so when you get it out there you know you're ready to just plug your tube in and uh, tighten it up and your connection is done. Now a step further, and I, this is one of my favorite um, applications, is we've got our quick setter valve that goes on it with the GeoGrip fitting and now what's going to happen with this here is you put that on there and now it gives you the ability to, to know what your flow rate is going through there. So now if you want to have um, a loop field, maybe you've got unequal loop lengths and you've got to balance them out, you just take your fingernail, you slide that red arrow to the flow rate that you need through that loop, then you go down here, pull out the ring like that and that allows the flow to go through and moves the ball up so you can read what's going on. Now that's good for a couple reasons. It's good for when you first um, commission the system, you want to be sure that you've got the right amount of flow through each one of these loops. So it's good for the first initial um, startup, but it's a great troubleshooting device. You might have an instance where somebody calls and says, you know, my, my system just isn't cooling like I think it should be. You know, can you come over and check it out? Well, the first thing you want to do is start up your pump and go out and pull all these quick setter rings and make sure that every one of them's got flow going through it. Because what can happen on a large loop field when you put it in there and you put it in the ground or you put it into the lake, um, you could get air locks in it. And that air is going to come out with these automatic air vents that we give you here. So maybe a couple days or weeks down the road, enough air is burped out of it, you need to add a little bit of fluid to it. And that's going to allow you to troubleshoot to see which loop has been air locked. The manifold is composite with all the different um, antifreezes that are commonly used in systems right now. Glycol is becoming more popular. There's still guys that are using um, uh, well, probably a 15% mix of uh, ethanol or methanol that is compatible with this manifold and also the fittings and all the, um, the valves and all the different accessories that go on there. So, On this end out here you're supplying um, uh, return connections. We've got a couple different fitting options for that. The basic one would be another geo-grip fitting there that allows you to put an inch or inch and a quarter tubing right into the end of that. Typically you're going to have inch and a quarter going to this big of a, a port manifold, so that would just screw in there. Same thing, put your tube in there, tighten it up until that thread bottoms out and you've got it. Now you might have an instance where you want to have isolation on this manifold. Maybe it's a large uh, commercial job where you've got manifolds in a bunch of different locations and you want the ability to isolate a complete manifold to um, uh, pressure, pressurize the system. We offer that with a, um, a nice ball valve. So that's a ball valve by mail thread that goes right into the end of the manifold and now it's got the geogrip fitting built into it also. Again, that's an inch and a quarter size there. So that would be um, uh, option number two for the connections to the manifold. Option number three is if you want to use, if you prefer to use a nice brass ball valve there, we're going to give you a nipple to put the brass ball valve in there, and then you just get a um, <clears throat> straight geogrip fitting like that, screwed into the ball valve. Now it's going to take a little bit more distance on your uh, manifold to, to connect it all together, but there it is with the, uh, the geogrip with the brass ball valve. Cover up a couple other fittings that are going to help you install this. If this is going to be mounted on a basement wall or the foundation wall in a building and the loops come through the wall and you want to turn them up to this to make a nice, tight, neat looking connection like uh, in the graphic there, we've got these um, GeoGrip 90Ls. So now the tube's going to come through the foundation wall and you want to turn quickly and go up to it. So that's going to allow you to make a nice, clean looking connection instead of making a big loop and coming back to the manifold. The GeoGrip elbows are available in uh, one inch and three quarter for the different loop sizes. Um, the last thing I want to show you is this little um, geo seal we're going to call this. So if you are going to come through a foundation or a basement wall, you're going to want to seal that so you don't get leaks when it rains and stuff coming into your wall and making a mess. So what we offer here is a really nice seal for that and it's a mechanical seal and what it does is you bore a hole through your wall, whatever the um, tube size um, will give you the dimension, the outside dimension to bore the hole, stick your tube through there and these little um, 
rubber rings go around it and it goes inside the uh, hole, the tube goes through it, and then you tighten all those with a quarter inch nut driver, like in a cordless uh, screw gun is perfect for doing that and it does two things it expands outward as you tighten it so it makes a seal to the foundation wall and it also expands inside so it makes a good tight seal around the pipe and around the wall so there's the geo seal fitting let me wrap up with a couple more things we make a great insulation uh, jacket to go over that quick setter because any brass component is going to have the potential to sweat and uh, drip on you. So we make it really nice. It's form fitted. It's got Velcro so it seals nice and tight. It not only seals it from uh, sweating, but it makes it look really nice too. The other thing here on the end, we've got a fill and purge valve. And by being able to isolate every zone, every loop um, by itself, now you don't need a huge horse and a half or two horsepower pump to fill and purge the system. Shut all the loops off but one. Now you can pump into one side and purge out the other. Do a loop at a time, shut that one off, move to the next one down the line. So it makes it really convenient for the guy that's filling the system to not have to have a huge um, high horsepower pump to fill it and purge it. So that's the Cluffy Manifold. I think you're going to like it.